with uh, Victor Davila, who uh, does uh, the commentary for the Spanish UFC. Uh, he to participates a lot with the UFC, but here locally, uh, he's the head guy at uh, Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu, and he has his own team, which is uh, Combate Libre. Now, uh, could you tell us a little about what you're planning to do here locally with your fighters? Yeah, yeah. Actually, we're uh, back to El Paso. Uh, our team started ten years ago. We used to come to these Hayachi tournaments. He was the only one put it tournaments on those those years, and then Combate Libre grow. Back in 2001 was born, and then we have 10 years already on the business. We have these brothers in Mexico City, some other, and Monterrey and Guadalajara. We're kind of expanding the Mexican fighters and Latino fighters. Right now we're trying to support all the local talent, because there's a lot of local talent now. The MMA is growing very impressive here in El Paso. All right. And uh, well, do you know how many how many fighters would you, would you currently have in your roster? Well, right now, uh, right here locally in El Paso, we have like three three guys like doing their amateur debuts. We have some pro fighters from Monterrey, Guadalajara, Mexico, like some 15, 15 guys already working for us fighting internationally, like from Brazil, Spain, and the U.S. We have Nino Marroquín from Monterrey, El Gato Rodriguez from Monterrey. They went to Brazil to the jungle fights for instance, which is the most important valetudo, that's the way they call it right there, but it's still mixed martial arts on Brazil, so we're very proud of our fighters now. All right, and well, I mean, you're mentioning all these other fighters that go to a lot of other places. Uh, is El Paso going to be your focus for now? Yeah, yeah, we're staying here for, I was expecting for, for years now. I have uh, my son, who himself is a world champion in Jiu-Jitsu. I have a uh, who who is four, and Baldo is going to be three. So they're kind of my inspiration. Uh, besides of my students, you know, all the all the effort that we have to the sport for the local talent. So we stay here for a, for a while. All right, and while well, you bring it up, uh, you know, we saw you at that uh, tournament. You, you did the uh, training, jiu-jitsu training for kids as well. Your kids like a whiz on the ground. Uh, how long have you been training him? Yeah, my son has been training with it, with Eddie Bravo for the last two years, almost two years now. Uh, he's been training for Sai Sen Kim from Ten Planet Burbank. We are this affiliation. We want the number 28 affiliation to the Ten Planet family. So, as you know, you may know the Ten Planet family is growing very, very fast all around the world. So, we're doing good. Everybody's welcome to come to Ten Planet El Paso for the Yuitsu or Combate Libre Academia for the Mixed Martial Arts. The invitation is open to everybody to come. We like to exchange training techniques with different uh, teams or academies, you know what I mean? Not only the people that come to train, but on Saturday we have the open mat. And we invite the whole the schools here in El Paso to come and train with us. All right, man. Well, I mean, it sounds cool, uh, everything you're doing here, and uh, we barely found out about you. And uh, hopefully we can come visit you and talk to you again, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. You guys welcome, and follow the blog, support uh, Mixed Martial Arts in El Paso. <laughs> thanks, man.